Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hugo and this is the Xpeng G6 Honda Diaries. And today I will show you uh, how the um, self-drive is performing in this uh, beta free release that it's going to be um, coming out very soon and on a early access to some people that join that and then uh, finally um, still this month on August to the um, remaining people so the official release will be still this month so I will show you uh, today uh, how it is performing um, and if there are changes and I will try to explain what I felt different uh, between the current version and this new version that will uh, come out. Then um, when it is official, because it's still on test, so it may have some um, changes still until the release date. Um, when it is official, I will do the, uh, the same highway that I did before uh, when I um, tested on the version 5.6.5 .5 to have that recorded. You can check that on the channel. Um, but I will then test it uh, with the new release to see if there are, in fact, differences making the, um, the same configurations in the car and executing exactly the same highway. And then we can then compare if the slowdowns are reduced. So guys, we have entered in the highway, so we will have to change two times the highway. I will activate now the self-drive. We are already in self-driving. Let me increase the speed with this wheel to 100 and we will just keep it flow. This highway, it's too, mu too, too much wind, but the car does keep the, the, it itself inside the lanes. So no uh, big problems with that. And we are just going um, along with this. So let me increase to 120 and let me already make a line change, lane change because we have this truck in front of us. Uh, so the first thing that I noticed with this new uh, software is that the lane change is much faster. So now the car does perform the lane change, automatic lane change, much quicker than it was doing before. Okay. And it's almost um, as I usually do. So before I had some complaints that the car was taking a lot of time analyzing the environment and, and then making this uh, lane change that for me it was not practical and made me sometimes cancel the lane change uh, because of that. Now I will leave these highways. So I will just slow down using the wheel drive. Okay. And I will just press now here and I will just move to this space here. So I am still on high uh, in LCC and ACC, but now we are not uh, already in a highway. So we are in a access lane. Okay. So I will move again. And if you see here, I don't know if you were able to see it, but it said co-driving. I will leave that to a different video that I will do about this new functionality that is related to the self-driving, but is the co-pilot or co-driving um, functionality. I will do a different video on that. Okay. Now we are entering again the highway. I will activate again. And I will increase now the speed to 100 and then I will increase to 120 when we are in fact in the highway. And now we are again in self-drive. So I will increase now the speed again to 120. You know that ACC will slow down because I have a car in front of me. So I am just changing here the lane. Okay. And I will go back again to my lane. So again, as you can see, ACC is acting. So even if I have my speeds defined to 120, the car is identifying a truck in front of me and uh, is now slowing down to the speed of that truck. And now I just performed the auto lane change. And then now the car is again accelerating to the desired uh, speed that is 120.
So the car is now slowing down again because we have someone in front of us, but it is performing by itself, accelerating and decelerating based on the traffic that we have. Also doing the, um, the turn. So it's going to be difficult to test the slowdowns because we do have a lot of traffic. Let me reduce this to one. So I am reducing to one the distance to the car in front of us so that this makes more sense driving because if not, as you can see, one, it's, I, I think it's already more than enough uh, space. But as you can see, these highways, it's, it's a little bit messy because it has a lot of traffic and cars do tend to drive very slowly uh, on these highways. So it's difficult to uh, really test these um, features on this highway. But we will move to a different one that it's, uh, it has less traffic. It's the one that I usually do my tests uh, with the car and um, it has a big uh, turns. So this is useful for um, testing the slowdowns in, in, in turns. So what I feel with these first, um, my first uh, remarks about this is that the overtake of the self-drive to manual drive, it's much smoother. So you don't need to fight with the, with the car uh, to overtake. Um, again, as I said, the lane change, it's much, much, much quicker and smoother also. So the decision to perform the lane change, it's, um, I consider that as um, a good one, uh, a, good, a good decision or good time for the decision. And in terms of slowdowns, I do believe that it's much better. There are still slowdowns, uh, but I believe that the... Um, it got better uh, with these uh, updates. But we will test that part in the next one. So you can see I am at 114, even though that I have set it to 120, but it is because as you can see the car in front of us, it's marked at um, blue because it's on our um, lane and the car, our car is then uh, controlling the distance between uh, myself and uh, that car so that defines then, so the ACC is in control and defining the right speed for that. And when we reach the exit, I will just reduce the speed and I will try to control uh, the exit without leaving the self-drive. So probably you will see again the information of the co-pilot, okay? So we are, we are almost on the exit here. Let me just then reduce the speed to 80 as it is there. So the car is anyhow keeping the, the, the car in the lane and basically controlling the speed of the car in front of us. But this is in fact a different place. So now we are in co-driving and I am just helping the car to, to execute then these um, control and the speed and the lane control. So we are in co-driving mode, as you can see here. So I will now increase the speed to 120. And then I will just move to the other lane. 120 set up, still have the car in front of us. And now I will just leave again the controls and the car is now resuming back the self-drive. So let me show you already also the overtakes. So we are now, as you can see, in a straight line with cars in front of us. I will overtake now. So the car is continuing. I will just put my hands on the wheel. The car is still in self-drive. I will just make this. It could be a auto lane change, but I did overtake. And now I am just speeding up. The car is controlling still the LCC, okay? I am just pushing the pedal. And now I will just go back. So still overtaking the system, okay? And again, I am in the lane. I will release the, um, the wheel drive and the car takes over and I will release this accelerator and the car resumes back to the speed that was defined. So it is very easy to overtake, self-drive, do your maneuver, 
if you feel that you just need to push a little bit more for the car to um, run and, and overtake someone or uh, just take care of some situation that uh, the car cannot control, you can do it and then just resume back to the self-drive without any problem as you saw. And as you can see now, the car is doing these turns without any problem. So 120, even though that uh, now we are, we are in, the, in a 120 speed limit. So let's see how it performs on this uh, turn here at 120. So a little slow down, see? 110, 11. So we do feel the slow down. I am, um, let me remember you, I am in sport mode with X pedal on. So uh, this could be better if no regen was set up. I will try that uh, when the official release is out so that we can uh, then test an official release. So as you saw now, the car is in fact slowing down in these turns. There is also a car in front of me, so I don't know, sometimes I don't know if the car is slowing down because of the turns or because, in fact, ACC is performing what he needs to do, that it's slowing down because we have a car uh, in front of us. Um, so sometimes there is this doubt. But again, my conclusion of this is that the system did improve from the 5.6.5, where we were. Um, in terms of slowdowns, in terms of keeping inside the lane, um, it's no issues on that. Uh, accelerating, it's a little bit faster when uh, we leave an ACC um, reduced speed because of a car in front of us. The slowdowns seems like more natural. Um, so it seems like you are in fact taking your, your foot out of the pedal and then the car is uh, using the regeneration um, the X pedal to uh, perform the maneuver. Um, but there are still slowdowns that I believe that could be um, removed, okay? So I do believe that there are still, uh, there is still room to uh, improve. So this is it, guys. Um, again, this was what I wanted to show you, how 5.8 version still in beta is performing on the self-drive. I hope you enjoyed, I will disconnect now the self-drive um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did so and um, just leave your like just comment what you are expecting and if you are testing what you feel about this and of course if you are not subscribed to the channel and you like the content please do subscribe to it you know that it will help the algorithm also and uh, if you like my content and if you like my channel uh, please consider supporting it uh, there are many ways you can do that. Um, check on the description of the video. And that's it. So thank you very much again. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.